Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. So let's take a look at what I said to you yesterday, what kind of target I did give you, and then we can take a look at today's chart. Do we see bullish confirmation to the upside, which would suggest the low is already in? Then we see a five wave move to the upside. Uh, currently, we have no evidence for it. We want to get a price action confirmed. Yeah. And currently, this is looking like a corrective wave up, which would indeed suggest we will make one more lower low in 1070. What was it? 1074 or 1076? That 78.6 percent Fibonacci retracement level here, 1074. Uh, okay, let's take a look at what we did. Okay, we came down to 1074. Okay, so that is what we did. One more lower low. This was a corrective wave up. Looked like a wave four um, or something similar that I talk about in a minute, and then we made one more lower low. Here in a wave five and we hit the 1074 level and that is a very very relevant level and the fact that the price reacted well to it is a very very important signal because this was the 1074-1075 dollar level the 78.6 percent Fibonacci retracement level that is the 78.6 level which is so relevant in a wave two and ethereum is currently in a larger wave two after it moved up in a wave one in may 21 then came down in an a wave moved up in a b wave and overshooting wave b, b like bitcoin and then we moved down in a wave c and abc is part of a wave two wave two is a corrective wave that normally comes down to the 78.6 to the 88.7 percent fib level so between $617 and $1,075 that we would really get there. I personally wouldn't have believed. Um, I gave you price targets before here of $1,700 was an important one and then $1,500 to $1,200. Um, well, I sort of believed we would get there, otherwise I wouldn't have given you the target, but I gave you obviously targets that were a bit higher originally, but then it shows we need to take it as we go. You know, when we see price action doing something and we still see there is still a higher likelihood that it still goes down, then we just have to ride the trend, right? And that is why targets also change. Now, that is why it is so important to get daily updates about your favorite crypto, okay? So at the moment, it remains the view that we have at the moment no confirmation yet that this low is in. We have no bullish confirmation yet. And now that we've done pretty much everything we needed to do, by the way, we're back in my target area anyway at the moment. We came out of it briefly and touched that level as expected and now I'm moving high, strong reaction to it, really, really good. So, um, but again, we have no bullish confirmation yet. And as long as we don't have bullish confirmation, the view has to remain that we are going to go lower. Yeah, this is a very, very important view. So there's a few ways of how this can be counted now from an elite wave point of view. Um, currently, as long as we are still seeing lower lows and lower highs, I cannot change my view. I have to remain of the view that we are going to make, con that we continue to make lower lows and lower highs. Um, there is a um, few, few very important um, aspects, okay? So we counted this here as a wave one, all of this, yeah, with a low at 1423 so only a move above that would currently suggest that the overall downtrend is over now um i mean every high every higher high and every higher low will add pieces to the puzzle but really a move above 1432 uh, would be highly relevant because this would be the wave one yeah and then we we take out the wave one low that is that is quite relevant for price action but this can now be counted as a one, two, three, four, five. The problem I have with this is that the wave five is very short. Okay, so currently, and also for Bitcoin, I have no evidence yet that the low is in, and I'm actually more convinced that we are going to go still a bit lower, but it might now be a longer period uh, in this in which this will play out. Um, so this is currently what I would go with, but but there is a possibility that that this wave five is actually not finished yeah that this wave four is actually not finished and that we are still in this wave three and the reason for that is 
that this wave one here in blue was so long. Yeah, and if I just start to calculate the length of the wave one and, and add it here to the high of the wave two for the wave three, it would actually give us a price target of $951, okay? Um, so I'm, actually, I'm actually thinking I'm going to go with that because we, as long as we don't have bullish confirmation, I cannot tell you with confidence that the low is in. It can now be in at any point in time. Don't get me wrong. It really can because we did all, we fulfilled all the requirements on the lower time frames and the lower and the longer time frames. Yeah, it came to all my target levels. It even hit here the 78.6% FIP level. So honestly, we were never that close, but it's still due to the length of that wave one, even though in my opinion, it was an extended wave one sort of, but still, you know, it, as long as I don't have bullish confirmation, I can't say to you, this was wave five and we're done. No, um, at the moment, I still have to see that the wave three or have to view it that way, that the wave three is still unfolding. And how would we then count the sub waves? Well, it would suggest that take them to the side here. It would suggest that we have really only seen here wave one. And that either this is wave two with an overshooting or undershooting wave B, A, B, C here. And this now remains to be seen. So I still need to keep um, a little bit of flexibility here. So it could even be that this was wave one, two, and this is another one, two. There's a few possibilities here, but overall, my view is wave three is possibly not finished. That is actually now my primary expectation because I'm lacking bullish evidence that it's the other way around. But bear in mind, I could change this later. Yeah, bear in mind, <clears throat> I could change this later with more bullish information in the chart because um, we now need to be on high alert that the low could be in based on what we have seen in the last few days. You know, that we have come down lower, we've hit all the targets. My scenarios are now fulfilled and I really now um, need to pay very close attention. So when it when we hit the target levels for the first time, also with Bitcoin, yeah, when we came into the area between 20, below 28.6K for the first time in the beginning of March, no, in the beginning of May, yeah, the area for Bitcoin that I gave you um, six months ago and for Ethereum as well, Ethereum reached its targets earlier anyway, but um, when we did that, I switched over to a very short time frame counting just to make sure you all understand what's happening and to really understand um, when we can with a high confidence say that the low is in. At the moment we can't do it yet. No? So the longer time frame count was achieved and then we looked at the lower time frames and now that we are looking at the lower time frames we're getting closer and closer but here for Ethereum what is a bit painful is that the wave one was already that long and the Elliott wave then just suggests that the other waves should be rather long as well. Um, and at the moment I don't have the bullish evidence yet. So I'm going to stay with this view until we, well, at least take out the high of the wave two. So 1283, um, that would be highlighting that probably the wave two isn't finished. Yeah. Um, it is something I'm going to observe very closely. And of course, I'll update you once more about Ethereum today because there's a lot happening at the moment, but be prepared still for lower lows. And um, yeah, you can wait for my confirmation that the low is in when it's in. At the moment, I can't see it yet. Yeah. So there's there are three very important levels now, 1280. Above that, it wouldn't be bullish, but we would need to readjust the wave count. Um, another indication the low might be in would be a move above 1420, a little bit higher, 1425. Again, wouldn't be bullish, but a move above that blue wave two, yeah, that would be something interesting. And that is at 1548. Yeah, so I'm um, keep a very close eye on it. Um, at the moment, there is still significant downside potential. And bear in mind, tomorrow there will be a lot of volatility expected possibly even more upside because we have sort of preempted already the expectation that there might be a higher than expected interest rate increase announced um, in the US at the FOMC statement um, tomorrow. So we might already have seen those effects now. And when it actually happens, we might not see a lot of movement, maybe just a little bit of volatility. So it will remain interesting and I'll keep you updated. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.